The executive secretary of the Tertiary Education Trust Fund, Mr. Sonia Chono, has accused the federal government of owing the agency the sum of 323 billion naira. Chono stated this at a public hearing on an alleged missing 2.3 trillion naira in TEF fund organized by the House Ad Hoc Committee investigating the allegations. The House of Representatives had last Tuesday set up a committee headed by Honorable Oluwale Oke to investigate the alleged abuse of 2.3 trillion naira generated from tertiary education tax by the fund from 2011 to 2023, an allegation to fund the bank stating it is untrue. He says the actual money generated from education tax from 2011 to 2022 was 2.476 trillion naira, out of which the Federal Inland Revenue Service retained 99 billion naira as cost of collection. And on the authorization of the Auditor General of Immigration, we do ratify that we make access to this uh, force, which we distribute with this force to beneficiary institutions based on the guidelines set out in our education and as we do for the Board of Trustees from time to time, subject to the President's approval. Um, that through the breakdown of those forms have been presented to you for the entire period of that school from 2011 to 2023. We are asked for list of contractors and projects in the country. Unfortunately, for us as a fund, we only have lists of projects. The reason being that we are not a contract awarding is on all the arms of our beneficiary institutions. So the list you will have from us of contractors are those that belong to us internally for our operations, whether we are buying tables and chairs or buying paper that we use to produce documents for you, or as we are trying to do this year, to also construct some donor offices. Those are the only projects that we handle at a point or awards for classes. We disburse funds to institutions, the institutions advertise their projects, manage their procurement, and that those who are German and experts in procurement, those who are familiar, so that the layers of approving authority for procurement start to the chief executives of these institutions, to so their attendance for president in the institutions, and when it goes Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.